Uh, what's your name? Said. Okay. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm here with our buddy. We're talking about this Max Licato book. How do you like the book? Good. <laughs> well, you want to say something good. I mean, do you ever agree with everything? No. Is there, is there a lot of good in the book? Yes. Yeah, you he love Jesus. Wait, what? He tells about many things. The, the, the book tells about many things? Yes. Uh, it, about Jesus. About Jesus. You, you love Jesus? Yes. Uh, you believe in God? <laughs> you believe the Bible? <laughs> uh, okay. N now, uh, let, let's go to, it was May 30. Mm -hmm. May 30 in the book. Yeah. Max Licata. This is grace for the moment. It's uh, 365 Devotionals for Kids. Here, I'm going to look at this. 365 Devotionals for Kids, Grace of the Moment. Now, let's go to May 30, where it says that, that Jesus had to overlook the, the past and the future in order to heal people. If Jesus was going to heal people, then... He had to see if these people had did something bad or right. And and did and he so if yeah. he look over the future, if he look to the future or the past, the past he can see if he does bad things and give him mercy, and the good and the good he gives him, he gives him more, and he gives him many things that he loves. Okay, now y y let's. Let's back up a second here. Did Jesus heal everyone or just the people he liked? Or everyone. Everyone. So it, people, Jesus knows they'll do bad things. He still healed those people? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're, okay. Uh, what, what, what you got there? Piano your, your early piano book. Okay. Uh, is that the book you're in now? No. You finished that a long time ago? This is my book. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. We gotta pause and get the piano book here. Is oh oh, oh we're gonna see. Th th this is your book. That's your book. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Go 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 play a song quick. Go 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 play some of your current music quick. Let's let's have a look. Let's have a look at the piano. No no play. Okay, all right. You hurry up. I'm gonna stop you though, cause I'm not. You could play forever. Excellent. Okay. Uh, hey, what what do you uh, what, what 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 do you what do you got here on the stand that you wanted to put this this brush here? What's that for? Malby. You wanted people to see Malby. 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 What, what's Malby? Is that English? No. What? Why do? You, what do you say Malby? What language is that? Chinese. Oh, so you you 会讲中文吗？嗯。English is your first language. No. What's your first language? Chinese. Can you speak Chinese? 这是毛笔，这个是来写书法的。Oh, okay. So, so English is your second language. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, let let. Well, now, but not it's the third one. It's a third language. Yeah. What's the what's other language? Thai language. Oh, you speak Thai, ma? Yes. So you know three languages. Ah. Ah. Uh huh. And what language is ah? It's more of an Asian culture, huh? Come it's over here. Hey, hey, hey. Here's here's your other. Uh, here's your other drawing area. Okay. Yes. 
Yes? Yes? Okay, all right. Okay, sit down. Sit down. Let, let's go back to Bible, though. I want to... So, so you're a talented person, and you've managed to show off a little bit. Hey! hey everybody wants... Hey, showing off is a good thing. Okay. Now, let, let, let's go to May... Well, we're, what, that's right. Okay, I'm sorry. When you're showing off, you're not supposed to say you're showing off. Is that it? Oh, right. Okay, okay. So I understand. Let, let's go to May 30. And Jesus had to overlook people is what Lakato says, right? Yes. What's your problem with that? You said you had a problem with that. What's your objection? Mm, I think that he, oh, he, does, he, he overlook and he doesn't overlook. He looks at everything very carefully. Who does? Jesus. He looks at everything carefully. Yes. Jesus doesn't overlook people's past, you're saying? He, he looks everything very, very carefully. He doesn't overlook. So if, if you're a sinner, well, who's not a sinner, right? Jesus but, will give us mercy too. Well, so... We do bad things, we do good things. God, Jesus will just give us many mercies and, and, and tell us to be good. So if Jesus knows someone's bad, he heals them because, I mean, why does he heal a bad person? Because he wants him to be good. So if, what do you mean by that? Can you use more words? Like, like Mexico and America. Okay, what do you mean Mexico and America? And that they are, they are, fight, they are not fighting. Trump wants the people to, to the Mexican good people come come to the good the, the America and come to America and leave. Okay. Good. Okay. So. And he, and he want to catch bad people for Mexico. Oh, the bad people. Yes. But, but is Mexico all bad people? No. A little bit good and a little bit bad. It, is that only Mexico that's a little good and a little bad? No, many, many countries. Is America a little good and a little bad? Yes. Is Taiwan a little good and a little bad? Yes. Is China a little good and a little bad? Yes. Taiwan is perfect. <laughs> okay, that's a great silly face. Okay, so everyone has problems except me. I'm perfect, right? Me. Oh, oh, you. You're perfect. I'm not. Yes. Oh, okay, all right. You're the only perfect one in the world. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, excellent sarcasm uh, for people hey. who can notice. Oh, oh, what, oh, that's right. When you're sarcastic, I'm not supposed to say so, right? Okay. So what's – so Max Licato – now, I said to you that maybe Jesus would heal some – well, you just said it, that, that Jesus will heal him because he wants him to become good. What do you mean? You heal him, and if he knows that if Jesus healing him – he was saying, "Oh, I'm bad, and I, I want to, and he wants me to do good things. So he, so that bad man will be good and do good things." Okay, so let's let's jump to today, which is May six. June May six. June six, right? May is thirty, and 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 Max Licato's well, what? Max Lucado says that that you, the work you do good and God will not do. Wait a wait wait a minute. Uh, in June six? No. Okay, I think you're trying to be a little bit. He, cute. he said growing up had growing up had many. Yeah, here here let, 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 let's look at it's like a, we're talking about that page here growing up. Okay, so so growing up has what? He telling you that growing up. It's very dangerous, and God will help you growing up. Right. And he gets all done talking about growing up, and he says the first step, it all begins with... Wait. The very end of the, the day. Do you remember? You want to go find it? He says the very end of it, and they all start with truly God. Okay. And what do you think about that? I think that it's not truly God. Okay, what? Mm. You, you don't know? Yeah. Okay, well, l let's, let's go, okay, choosing God. Choosing God, and God will choose you. I, is that right? Well, God will choose you, yeah. Okay, that's a good point. I, is that correct? Yes. 
But the math look how to use two narrow words. New narrow words. Uh, simple is simple a good word? Simple good words. Simple. He uses simple good words, but his words are you say narrow. Narrow. Is too simple. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Max Licato, so what do we, where did you say Max Licato gets this thinking from? Sunday morning. So Max Licato has. He uh, goes to Sunday morning and every Sunday. And he has this simple thinking. Yes. Okay. So choosing God, so is that wrong? We don't choose God? No, we choose God and God chooses us too. Okay, so there's more to it. His answer is too simple. Is am I understanding you right? Okay, now uh, <clears throat> I gotta explain this. Talking with Saeed, uh, you get the idea. English is a second language, so I'm asking him questions, but I want to make sure. What? Oh, third. Sorry, excuse me. His third language. So. When I ask him questions, I have to provide him with vocabulary, but I want to make sure that I'm not leading him, or it's called like, like leading the witnesses is what we'd say in, in legal jargon. I'm not trying to tell him what to think. So. I think, my, I think everything myself. You think everything yourself. All right, now Max, so Max Licato's narrow thinking again, that goes back to Jesus has to overlook your faults instead of, to heal you instead of Jesus healing you because you have problems. What, what, uh, is that also part of Locato's narrow thinking? Yes. So, uh, what would you say, uh, what would you add? You have anything else to say about all this? We get all, you know, Jesus has to overlook your problems if he's going to heal you. Jesse, Jesus. Jesse and Jesus, similar names, I guess. Uh, Jesus, very different people. Oh, Jesus, look at everything that these, these men done and helping and giving grace and mercy. And, and he will be, he will say that he, he knows he was wrong. And because we use good words and, and he knows he's wrong. But Who's we, he? The people who have sinned. People who sinned? Yes. It, Jesus, Jesus and is healing. He, okay. He, Jesus used good words and comfortable words to tell the sinner, the sin man, to to be good, and so this man be good, and he know and he learn and he become happy. Okay. All right. So. What I want to say with this is, uh, we we've done some Ubuntu stuff, haven't we? Uh huh. Yeah, you might see Saeed in some other videos. And remember your Cyrus theory? Remember the Cyrus cylinder theory? Yeah. Do you remember it? Yeah. Do you, okay, who made the Cyrus cylinder, do you Cyrus. think? Cyrus. Wait, wait. Cyrus. Cy, wait, Cyrus made the Cyrus cylinder? Okay, I think we've got to go back to your video. Cyrus wrote it, but who made it into a cylinder? Oh, okay. So we're Darius the Great. Okay. Not the Artaxerxes. Not the pseudo Artaxerxes. He's too bad. Because there's how many Artaxerxes are there? Four. Okay. Um, many, 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 many. There's all kinds of. Okay. All right. Do you remember your theory? In the we made a video that that you thought that Darius uh, made the Cyrus cylinder because Darius could see that Israel had enemies and he wanted a copy of the scroll to be kept for a long time. Yes. Yeah, okay. But that the was Cyrus cylinder is now in the earth. Um, we can see the truth. We can see it. It's yes. still, it survived. It's still, well, it's still alive. It's still, it's still alive. It's still here. Okay. Um, what I, I made this, uh, little video here with my buddy Saeed because we do a lot of Bible study and, uh, <laughs> anyone can learn at any age. How old are you? Tell the truth. Eight. You're eight years old? Yeah. Okay, sometimes Asian kids will give like a false age to, to conceal, to 
privacy. It's like not lying. It's like pseudo age. It's like a pseudonym. I'm really eight. You're really eight years old. Okay. And it's it. But if Asian kids give you a false age, they're not trying to be deceitful. They're trying to protect their their personal information, which is a little bit smart. Um, and they kind of do it on instinct. Like nobody tells them specifically to do this. It's just kind of a shrewd, smart culture to give a pseudo age, uh, maybe to be polite. Well, how many different ways can you measure your age? In lots of different ways. Um, so anyone eight years old, anyone can learn Bible. How long have you been reading Bible? Two or three years. Two or three years? Anyone can learn Bible. Anyone can think critically if we believe that people can learn and think critically. Saeed, uh, well, he's special to God, but he doesn't think these things because he's special. Saeed, Saeed's just like any other kid. It's just that his parents and his teachers, and I'm his Bible friend, we believe that he can learn. It's not his ability that makes, it's not what he was naturally born with that makes him able to learn stuff. What, what's this behind you here? What's this? Violin. Do you also play violin? Yeah. Uh-huh. And this is my Beethoven. That's your Beethoven. Okay. Let's have a look at Beethoven. There he is in Chinese. Oh, you won, he was an award. Did you win this as an award? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyone can learn, it's not a, what's special about Saeed's ability is not what he was born with, but what the adults in his life believe. The adults in his life believe that he's able to do these things. And I'll go back to the World War II builder's generation and you know my grandparents, their children were the baby boomers, the hippie generation, and then I'm I'm into Gen X, Gen Y, depending on how you want to slice the pie. And you know the, the builders told the baby boomers, their children, this is what's right. We won the war. We survived the Great Depression. This is what's right. Do it because I said so. And they didn't teach their children, the, the hippie baby boomer generation, they didn't teach them to think critically. They told them what is right, but they didn't teach them why it's right. They didn't give them the spanking. <laughs> well, actually, maybe they did. Actually, they did. And the spanking is called one hand clapping. The spanking is called one hand clapping? Oh dear, the, the, the sound. The, the sound if, you, if the Buddhist ever asks you what the sound of one hand clapping is, you can say that it's a spanking. Um, okay, so the, the, the baby boomers didn't learn why the right things are the w right things. They didn't learn to think on their they own. They don't know that they do bad things, and they don't know that this, they don't think about that they are bad because their parents just tell them. Their parents only tell them they're bad. And they don't, and their parents don't let their children think. They don't explain why. Yes. Does that work? Okay. And they don't, they don't want them to think. They just tell them themselves. They just okay. They just okay. I hope you collected that. Um, we need critical thinking. If you tell your children what's right and good, and that's it. They don't know why you're going to raise hippies. In the hippie generation, they had their theory about economics, and it was all, you know, um, Bernie Sanders all over again. And let's live out on the street and sing songs and make beads, and just everybody just gets his own stuff. And then they grew up. That didn't work. And as my mother explained to me, she said, Jesse, it was interesting. All my hippie friends. One at a time, quietly stopped the music in the streets and went and put on their shirt and their tie and their work clothes and went out the back door quietly and found a job and started working and left their hippie ideas quietly one by one because none of their hippie stuff worked. And eventually they figured it out, but it took them that whole hippie movement. You said time? It took them a long time to figure it out. Would they have learned, how would they have learned it faster? Just the, the, their parents just don't tell them. And they... Okay. We need to know why. We need to learn critical thinking, teach critical thinking, and believe that children can learn stuff, and then anyone can learn this stuff. 
but you don't want to have narrow thinking. You know, growing up is dangerous and it's got problems and the devil's trying to get you and your parents try to keep you safe and God's there to help you, but it all begins with believing God. Okay, it all begins with choosing God. That's right, he remembered the book better than I did. It all begins with choosing God. That's too simple. You have to say more words and, and let the story longer and tell all the whole thing. Not keep it super simple. We call that in America, we call that a Sunday school answer. The, it, the teacher asks the question in, in church and the children, every answer is Jesus, God, because God I loves love us. Right, okay, and, and, that, and that, that doesn't help. Uh, thank you, Saeed. You want to say anything else? No. Okay, bye. I'm a genius. You're a genius? <laughs>